Hi guys, right, so I'm coming on to do a project share for B Park. Now this video I'm going to have to stop and start because I've got various moulds because some of the made up, um, like the dog mould, look, they're very, very small. So what I'm going to do, see how small they are? And what I'm going to do is I'm thinking of making a few pairs of earrings and I've just lost one of them again. Hold on a minute. That's gone now. now that's going to annoy me. I've got some little round pieces here little wooden pieces I've punched a hole in right so all I've done now is I've put some holes in these little discs I've got they're just MDF wooden discs and all I'm gonna do is I've just got some random paint out because um, I can't find my white so I've just got a warm beige it doesn't matter what light paint you use and I'm just gonna use my finger basically and I'm just going to go over this just to give it a coat as a base coat on there really on each well I'll do each side just put a, a little bit of paint on just um and then I shall do the reverse side as well after I just just give it a little bit of start it off if you know what I mean because I will be painting over the clay pieces I seem to have lost one piece I don't know I, I lost one piece earlier than I refound it it was stuck on to a book or something that I put on the table so maybe if I retrack trace my steps I might be able to find it again anyway Let's just go around these and then I shall leave these to dry for a minute and I will do the other side of them just so they've got the first sort of a coat on on that wood there so I'll just do my hands with a baby wipe and then I will be back for the stage two of this Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, you can. Okay. okay, I'm back. I've done both sides of these little MDF wooden pieces. What I've done is I've made a hole in them using this tool, which makes a hole. And, um, yeah, I've made the little hole so it's like a pendant. I've painted each side over. I just as a base coat so what I'm gonna do now is I found some paint this is the do crafts artist acrylic paint in burnt ombre and this is what I had over from one of my previous videos quite a while back now um, from the boyfriend challenge <laughs> Don't use usually use a lot of brown paint, but because they're dogs, I thought right, I use some of that on the dogs. Um, what I need to do, which I have forgotten to do, is I want to stick them on. To now, I've lost one of them. I had six in total, um, and they were all paired up, and I went and lost one, so. What I want to do is just stick them onto this. Just find out where that hole is because I, I will need that hole showing. I just want to glue these little pieces onto this MDF. But put these down a little bit lower so I can get to the hole. there like that 
Right, hang on a second. Right, let's put that on to there. Like that. Um, I didn't put any glue near its, its ears, which are actually fitting on there, so I'm going to do that. Just so it holds on better. Right, hang on, I might need to turn it a fraction. It's quite all dry. There. I think they're all done now. So I'm just going to go over quickly and just paint just paint those in and I'm not going to be able to see any other anything on them really while I'm doing this and then what we've got to do is this little one on the front I'm going to go around quickly. I think I'm going to run out of paint. We may just have enough. Don't know. Let's see. And remember to wash your paint. If you're trying this, remember to wash your paint brush out um, in between stages so it doesn't go hard. <laughs> That's Bailey, <laughs> as you know. Right, okay, so just put a bit of paint. We did have enough, just enough paint. There we go. So they're painted in now. Another sec, there we go. They're painted in, so I'm going to let them dry out naturally for a minute It'll be about half an hour or so and then i shall come back give them another coat and then a coat at the back i'll go and wash my hands now and then um wash my this out properly wash my paintbrush properly and i'll be back hi guys welcome back so what I've done now is I've done my little shapes. I've glued them onto the MDF. I've painted each side of them. You should be able to see that. And now we've got these dinky little shapes. I've got some of um, this patina gold out, which is the daily arts. I got a makeup brush. The fluffier, the better on the brush so look <laughs> this always happens to me so it may spring off somewhere i don't think i'm gonna be able to put that back on and use it actually hang on it's gone on is it i don't know i'll hold it so what i'm doing now is just picking up a little touch of the, the wax and just going around it to give it like a metallic shine not too much of the wax and i'm doing the backs as well so i don't know if you can see this it's hard holding it Go around the edges as well and then this should be touch dry in a few minutes i'm gonna get it in under that bit there like that and just another little little dab and then we go over it again. If you get too much wax on, take it off with this part of your brush. Like that. And then just go around again. Do the, the backs. Just go right round where you can. And it gives off um, a metallic. They look almost metal, you know. And they're sparkly as well right so that's that done let me just wipe my fingers a minute so they basically look metal i can't even see you there yeah now you can see them if i hold it too near 
it doesn't focus. If I, but if I come back a bit, you'll be able to see. Okay. So we've got a holes in the top. So we've got just let them dry for a minute. And we can put these bits in the bin and the little bits of the paint and that. We can put all in the bin and then when these are dry, I will come back and finish them off. Right guys, um, I'm just putting some jump rings through them. Um, I was going to do them in bronze colour jump rings and then my, um, not jump rings, earrings I'm going to do. I was going to do them in bronze colour findings but I didn't have any jump rings in the bronze that would have fitted through these holes so I've had to compromise and do the silver so I'm just finishing the last one of them so what I will do is I will coat a little bit of the silver um, metallic on top of these silver then just a little smudge on the top and I'm going to do it with my finger I need a baby wipe out just a little touch of the silver on the face just to just to complement the backs on the earrings and that you know just a little bit and then it'll brighten them up a bit and it'll go more with the findings the earring findings just a touch, that's all we need on there. It's a shame I didn't have any bigger jump rings, but I have to sometimes compromise, compromise so just a little touch more. And see if I can hold these up now. Oh, they're all bunching together. So we've got them done now. So I'm off to do some die cutting to make some jewellery backs now. And then they should be the first little mini project that I've done. And then we can start on doing another project in this video. Okay guys, so I've cut some of these out using the die that I was sent, which was this one. It's a bone one and it comes with this little bit for the flowers and that. I didn't use those, but I've cut some of them shapes out. Let me just put them down here a minute. So I'm going to put them on a magnetic sheet. So I've cut some of them out. And I wanted to use a couple as a earring background. So I chose this size, which was perfect. This, The larger one would have been too big. And there was a smaller one as well. Um, but that would have been t really too small. So let's leave them, put them together. And I'll show you what I've made now. I've got a piece of paper here. And you'll see what I've made. Now, as I said at the start of one, this, I've lost one of the, the moulds somewhere. It's probably on the floor somewhere and I haven't discovered it yet. Well, I'm probably sitting on it now in my life. But this is what I've done. And I've... Hang on a sec. This is what I've made, and I've put them all in little bags. Oh, can I hold them? Let me see if I can get hold of them, and then I can hold them up. There. I'm hoping you'll see them. I will show a picture in the daylight. But that's what I've made. Um. You can see two pairs are exactly the same. I put some 
Um, let me hold a pair up, any pair I don't. Let's take the middle one. I put some um, of the silver over the gold because I had the silver coloured jewellery findings, earring findings, because I didn't have eye rings big enough for the bronze colour that I wanted to originally do. I've got the earrings back in every colour, but the jump rings I hadn't. So that's what I've done with those anyway. And as you can see, I've I've printed, I've just inked onto the backgrounds, just a random stamp background, and then put them in these little bags I got from Bead Park last time that I didn't find a use for last time, and they're absolutely perfect. So there's some little sort of friend mail earrings made up with little dogs on them. Um, so yeah, they've come out really nice and they didn't take that long to do. So we'll jump on to the next project now and um, I'll catch you guys in a minute. Hi guys, welcome back. Right, I'm going to try the wax. I have got a bit of a darker colour going on in here though from previous you put some pink in i've cut some of the pink up look um the best way to use the wickless i found is to break them up and i pinched these off of the boyfriend i think they're rose pruners i couldn't tell you what they are but they've got they open up like that I think they're only cheap, like Poundland or something like that. I don't know what they are, to be honest. But that goes up there like that. And then, but they're perfect for cutting the wax up. Absolutely perfect. Go like it, for, like butter. And uh, right, that's done now. Let me find this wings die, golden wings, is what I got off of Bead Park before. And I'm going to quickly use that because we're going to test this mat and see if this comes out. But I can smell it burning, so I needed to get it off of there. Yeah, I need to get that out of there. It's coming out like a purple colour. So I have to remember that, mix some black wax in with the dark pink and it come out a nice shade of purple. <laughs> Right, I've got a heart one. I don't know where I got this from. I think it was in a set from somewhere. That... Right, let's try another bit, piece of the pink. Before that starts burning. Let's put that in. Right, let's see if this mat works. Oh, yes. Yep. Perfect. The mat works perfect and wax is brilliant as well. And I've put them in bits again. But this mat, it's I've put it into half and they're so much easier to use these mats. So you get the sticky side, you just put it in I say sticky, it's not sticky as such, you know, it's supposed to be like that because it's silicon. You just put it into two and then you can just use your melts on it. And this is just wiped clean after and they just come off every time. I found it's easier than working on glass or anything, even an acrylic block. The best one I've found as well as the silicon is marble, but marble costs money, you know. Um, these are brilliant though. Right, let's try this and see if it's got any lighter. Big drip going down the base there. Right, just leave that on for a second. And we're going to have to pour that again. Um, oh, look at that. That's brilliant, that is. Let's try it 
spray it off. Look how, how nice they've come out, look. Yeah, it's got lighter now, look, you can see it. See that had more black in it. The one at the bottom here, wickless wax in the sticks rather than the beads. When you buy the little tiny bead pellets, they don't last very long, you know? Try and do a big one now. Um, and I found it's cheaper to buy the big wickless, wickless, not wickless. How can they be wickless? Wickless, the long ones without the wick going through them and then cutting them up with these tools it's and it saves money you know and if i ruined it or not no it's because i put it straight at the back so that's come out like that now that's its true color there which is really nice really nice love it very pretty pink that is so that's boiled down now still gloopy in the middle but it doesn't matter I could still pour that like that that's fine you don't want it why it's really smoking or bubbling you know too much right let's do that one right that is should be enough for another one I mean, if you'd like to give this a go, um, I've got a couple of videos on how to make wax seals. Um, also, they do some lovely wax seal, you know, the stamps. They do everything over at Bead Park um, to do all your wax projects and that. I'm just going to pour this one now. And as I said, they do the wackless, the wickless, they do the wickless wax. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Their prices fluctuate all the time, and you can get them at a really good offer, you know. I'm going to do that in a minute when it dries. But this colour is really nice you'll, you'll see it when it comes off this color is lovely don't know if that's dry enough yes there we go look oh look at that look i will take some pictures of it in the daytime but these are the true colors of the waxes have i got that round the right way hang on a second there we go look and they pretty. That pink's gorgeous and that purple's gorgeous as well. It's really, really pretty. And these these are end up in happy mouth, these ones. I love doing these wax seals. Let's just have a look at this one now. I'm hoping this is dry enough. Because I've just poured this one. You'll be careful when you take them off, but yeah, it has come out and you can see, actually see at the base there, the true colour of that. Yeah, they're really lovely and I shall be doing some more projects with these absolutely great wax. I'd recommend this wax to anyone from starter to, you know, advanced. I prefer buying the wax like this. It's so much easier to use. Just cut it up. So easy to just to cut into big cubes like that. There's about, you can get like with this piece here, this little cube here would do significant for say two wax seals. You haven't got to keep messing around putting two or three of the little tiny cubes and you can just stick that in give it a stir do what you've got to do and then you've got two pores on the go you know i've cut some that are even thicker there but yeah their wax is brilliant 
and I'm going to get some more colours when I can as well. So, right guys, that's my complete my second project in this video. Hope you like this. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think and that. I like to hear from you. And um, hope you're looking after yourselves and that. And keep safe, keep warm and keep well. Okay? Until next time, bye-bye.